Oh, that's, yeah, that's here with me? Five as well. Is it buy four, get one for free? Hey y'all, it is Julian and Kayla. And we buy stuff, flip it online, and make YouTube videos about it. Today you're about to see some epic finds that we found today at the yard sales. Tell us what this is. I would say it's some sort of... We figured it out. No, we hadn't. Uh, yeah, I, I know exactly what it is. No, we don't. Yes, he thinks he knows. What, what do, do you think it is? Line type scales for newspaper. Yeah, it's from a, this one's from a printer. Like a printing company? Yeah, it's just the record. Yeah. The record. So I think they're uh, line of type or uh, newspaper type setting scales they're neat yeah it's right up my alley something yeah. neat right <laughs> that and i like this high glow stanley screwdriver this. some of that stuff needs oil work oh okay um, look at the eyelashes i'm just got never, on this never cut her eyelashes since she was a puppy i i, I got a carter spaniel and three bucks three bucks yeah. that'll work can't go wrong with that <laughs> for 15 um, if you want them how much on your bike? um that's jim shore comes with the stand and i'll buy five five dollars yeah and i've got the box for oh sweet thank you you want it yes ma'am okay let me get the box do you have change for a 20. well, we'll uh, i think we're gonna buy more stuff so. oh are <laughs> oh, you have another one no, this is just it. Um, the... Oh, the oh that's... Yeah, guy. that's Humpty Dumpty, yeah. Would you do $5, $10 $5 for both? dollars for that, yeah. $10 for both? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for getting that. Yeah, <laughs> sure. It's getting rough on me today. No, that's right. all right. Been busy? Uh, yeah, pretty good. So at this yard sale, we spent a total of $20. I'm over there looking at some decent fishing gear, and we do pick some stuff up. My camera has some sort of meltdown, so at the end of the video, I will go over everything I bought at this yard sale. What are you doing, Marshall? You looking here with me? All right, so this is a pretty cool find. This is a John Wright Christmas tree stand cast iron. He did one with L.L. Bean that goes for a lot more money, but even the ones that aren't the L.L. Bean, there's a red one and a green one. Perfect time to pick these up. Just clean them up, and they sell pretty good. This one has a sole comp of like $30, but the L.L. Bean one has a sole comp of I think around $60. So be on the lookout for that one. How much was this? Please. Oh. Three dollars? I'll take it for three dollars. Yeah. That'll work. Good one. Yeah, nice and heavy. Yeah. So your tree don't fall over. Hey, how much are we asking on your club? Um, uh, five. Five? Is it five for each club? Uh, yes. Okay. Or if you want to make the deal. <laughs> um, what is that one over there? Looks like a Nike. I don't know what this one is. Do we know what this is? Do you want to tell him? Oh, it's a four. What, 23 Four slingshot? Yeah. Um, so if you were $5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Five as well? Five as well. Is it buy four, get one for free? <laughs> buy four, get one for free. Um, that would be twenty. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. For the yeah. Yeah. For I, all of I them. I would do that, and I'll give you the five. Yeah. 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 There That'd you go. Be great. Thank all right, you. I'll take them all. Super. Will you have a good day? Do you know You know more about these pumpkins than I do. It's made in the USA. I don't think that's an older one because, no. well, I don't know, but the, let me turn around. These usually have a little bit thicker strap uh -huh. on them. Um, we can use it for the house, though. It's only a dollar. And yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That's a bouncy ball. Dude, some of these are worth a lot of money. These elites. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a 
Yeah, they're like, uh, oh jeez. How much is the, oh I'm sorry. All right, so that engine prop right there is an aluminum prop. I leave it behind because they're asking $100 for it, and that's about right for that prop. But if you find them that are stainless steel, they can go for a lot more. I know why they have so much stuff. Hey, look, it's my, my nemesis, the Ab Lounge. Full propane is pretty good. That's neat. I don't know if we could ship it. But... No. You know the squirrels would like that in the back. Oh, these are cool. Yeah. Put, like real faces. Yeah, they want thirty five dollars a piece for them. That works. It does? Yep, it's um, got a VHS. Perfect. And a uh so it's dual. Only for five bucks. Five bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Nope. I'll take her for five. Right, for five. You can't go wrong. Mm. That computer. A little grill. Mm -hmm. It's nice for the mountains. All right, so this is the stuff we picked up just from that one yard sale. Everything else you saw the sole comps on. It was a really good day. This yard sale, we only spent $20. Kayla picked up the Jim Shore uh, Humpty Dumpty for five bucks and then the Christmas 2010 for five bucks. Jim Shore usually is a good pickup if you can get it for five dollars or under. Some of his stuff goes for super expensive and then some of it like this plate only goes for I think 20 bucks but Humpty Dumpty has sold comps 35 to 50 and we have the box which is really nice because a lot of times I never find them with the boxes so it's nice to find them with the box. So excellent job there. Uh, I did pick up this Big Bertha Hawkeye at that one. Is it Pro 8.5 series, which I've actually never seen before. And uh, I didn't know it was actually gonna be worth as much as it is. It's worth about 35 to 50 bucks. I have the head cover, which is not in that good a condition, but the club itself is in super good condition. So that was a good find. The fishing rods, one fishing rod is totally not worth anything. This one I haven't looked up yet. I just think the cork is in really good condition. And I love the old fishing rods that have that gold um coloring to it it just i just i don't know it just makes it look really really awesome and this one's from true temper 2560 sr it has all the guides and everything i just really like the way it looks i might take this up to the mountains and put a little rod on and go trout fishing next week that's where we're going and uh but i did pick all this stuff up she only charged me like a dollar a piece here and this one is just a regular like mitchell 300 these aren't worth a ton of money you got to get these mitchell 300 for really two bucks because in really good condition, they go for 20. In this condition, it'll probably go for 15. If you ever see blades like these, these are Craftsman. And on Craftsman blades, the old ones, and I think probably the new ones, there's going to be a model number. Just type that model number in, and it'll pop up exactly what it is. I have sold actually two of these in the last week. They usually go for about 15 to 20 bucks, and they fit in a... Uh, padded flat rate. This one won't fit in a padded flat rate because it has a big carbide, a 40 tooth blade in the back here. And these are actually, the one back here looks like it's brand new. This one looks like it's been, maybe been used a couple times, but both of these together, this should be an easy $40. So right there, that is a whole bunch of Saturday yard sales. This was an, such a good, I keep saying like it was an epic Saturday, but these right here really were some good Saturdays. Uh, we haven't been hitting them quite as good. We've always seems like we were just a minute late or something like that. Oh, the stuff's the good stuff's already gone or something like that. But guess what? We were the ones today buying, we thought, all the good stuff for super good prices. So we do appreciate everybody watching. You know we will always get you on the next one.